Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to what is one of the craziest Pokemon series I've ever done on the channel where we are opening up a hundred Shining Fates boosters in search for one card in particular. Now, if you haven't seen part number one, which was yesterday, we opened up 50 of the packs and we still haven't found the coveted Shining Charizard. So today, it's the finale episode. It's the one everyone was like, Ando, all the pressure is running on you today. And I know, I'm so nervous, like... This is it. This is the final 50 packs. And if the Charizard isn't in here, I gotta, I gotta literally go back out to Walmart, Target, whatever. And we're gonna start buying more Shining Fates until we can find the Charizard. And when I say everybody and their mama seems to have pulled the card, I mean everyone and their mama's got the card. I've been getting tweets, Instagram DMs. I've been getting like, you know, telegrams. People just saying, Ando, I did it. I literally pulled the Shining Charizard VMAX how have you not got it yet? And it's not even just the Charizard, it's the Shining Suicune. I really want- Oh, that's not bad! That's not bad at all! So this, like, in this shiny form, I would love the Suicune. But, I'm also gonna take a Shining Copping. I always love the light blue and then the purple, like, sort of gas coming out. That looks sick. I will take a shiny Pokemon card on our very first pack. It's a Young Maker behind it. That's all good. Check that one out. But yeah, I swear, Oh my goodness, but at the end of today's episode as well, why this is actually a good episode, um, not only we're going to open up the 50 Shining Fates packs, like no matter what, we're going to open them all, we're going to do a recap, and it's going to include everything from yesterday's uh, video, so at the end of today's video, you're going to officially know if you were to somehow, you know, get your mum's credit card and buy 100 Shining Fates packs, what would the ratio look like? Oh, that's not bad, Hollow Frost Moth as well. And how many sort of hits would you get? What would you be looking at? Because if you're anything like me, and you're a little bit crazy, and all you really do is think about Pokemon cards and how many pulls you can get of different stuff, one of my always thoughts is, if I open a hundred packs of that set, how many of this, that, and the other am I actually going to get? So I think Shining Fates for me was always like, yo, how many pulls can you get if you opened up a flat 100? What's the ratio? I'd be so, like, interested. And I think today... It's all going to come to conclusion. A lot of you guys were like, Ando, I honestly think you can get more than one Charizard today. Which, holy smokes, I swear and I promise, if I pull two Shining Charizards in one video, which is today, I will move to New Zealand. Brazil? What the flip? Why are these all so miscut? We got a um, Celebi, but look at that. It's so thin. Like, this is how thin I'd get my pencil in school, just because I love sharpening it so much. Dude, that is, and that's the rubber on top. That's, oh my gosh. Guys, it's disgusting. Why are they printing him so... I'm so triggered. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. All right, let's keep going. What the flip was that? And like, that's not the craziest one either. You guys know. We got the more Pico. Do you remember that? Oh gosh, sorry. That was the wrong way around. The Morpico was literally, that was abysmal. They even chopped off the copyright down the bottom. So Pokemon are on a bit of a disaster at the moment. I don't know, it feels like they kind of rushed the print run. Um, feels like, I don't know, Shining Fates is coming out and they panicked a little bit. Trap Inch. Oh, that's not bad, Corvix Eye, and I haven't even got this one yet. Oh, that looks awesome. Really like gray scale, uh, black and white bird, but that is amazing. I'm digging all of these shinings that we haven't got before. So, so far we've got Coughing Shiny and Corvix Sire. This is amazing. That's awesome. I love these shining Pokemon. I swear, there is a reason. Look at that, Decidueye as well. There is a reason why you guys thumbs up these episodes non-stop. You're always requesting, like, Ando, you're going to do more Shining Fates. You're going to, like, keep opening the set. It's because I have so much fun with it. Literally, you get those shining cards. You get all these brand new ones. There's multiple hunt for... Um, things you can go after. It's the set that just keeps on giving, isn't it? Okay, so we got Fire Type, Float Cell as well. We're nearly done with the top stack. And once I finish the top stack of Shining Fades, guys, it's the final two pillars. Oh, that's not bad. More Pico V card. All that electricity going everywhere. Zip, zap, zop. All right, let's put you to the side as well. As good as more Pico is, we're on a mission today. Three boosters, and then we've just got the two pillars, and that is it. It goes, it goes really, really quickly. Like, each booster can contain so much, but you honestly start flying through when you got tunnel vision, and all you want to see 
It's the shiny goods. Okay, here we go. Spinarat, Q font. I want another shining full lot. Let's go. Coughing. Did I skip it? I did! We got another Center Scorch! I swear, I've got the most Center Scorches out of anybody! It's a shiny Center Scorch and a Volcanion, which is miscut again, but that's okay. Oh my goodness! How do we keep getting the same Center Scorch shiny card? Oh dear, Center Scorch buddy, you can go to the side. We've seen you one too many times. Okay, three shinies. We're actually doing really, really well on the shining Pokemon. I always wonder, like, did yesterday sort of alter anything? Like, did we get too many Shinings yesterday, so it's going to affect today? I don't know, um, but we'll find out. So that's pretty good. Three so far. As I said, I kind of want a few more Full Arts, though. Shinx, but I don't want to jinx anything. Yanma, Grookey, and a Luxray. So it looks like we still have a lot of the Hollows to get through. Second to last booster of the top. Leave your predictions now. Is Uncle Lando actually going to find the Charizard in the remaining stack right here? You probably know, but I can't predict the future. I don't know. It's all up to this. Come on. It was so much money as well for 100 packs. Like I probably could have bought the Charizard. Just. I reckon I just could have bought the Charizard <clears throat> with the same amount as it cost to buy these packs. But it's all about the search for... And plus, if we can get the Zard, it's so much of a bonus because you've got all the bonus cards as well. It's always better to open up the packs than to buy it raw. Um, unless it gets crazy, like Burning Shadows, you're better off just buying that Charizard. Because that Charizard is like impossible to pull. Team Yeltao, Brazil, EV, Q Font. Oh, that's not bad! Colossal! Yeah, it's miscut, but that's okay. Colossal Shiny and a Celebi Regular Rare. Flaming Avalanche is one of the attacks. What an epic Pokemon. Colossal. I've got the Shining version of this guy as well in a gold card. We're getting a bunch of these regular Shinies. And I love it because we honestly, there's over a hundred of these bad boys. And we need every single one. If Uncle Ando's actually going to make a binder out of the set. So, I'll take it. Fighting tight. Alright. It's down to the final two pillars. Let's work our way down the left-hand side, and then we'll leave it to the right-hand side to finish off the video. And then we're going to call it a day, and that's it. We're going to collectively decide if I somehow open up all 100 of these boosters. And I'm not saying that lightly. I mean all 100. You're going to have to let me know in the comments. Come on. Do we uh, keep going? Is it worth continuing the series? I reckon that is our 10th Decidueye Holo card. I don't know why, but we seem to get the stack of that one. Yeah, if you guys do get bored of it, though, you got to let me know. Like, Ando, we're not feeling it anymore. Honestly, like, you've opened up too much Shining Fates. I feel like we haven't opened up that many, though. I've spread this out enough where it's still... Oh! It's a Shining! What is it, though? Oh, that's not too bad at all. I will definitely take it. It is a full art shiny Rillaboom V card, followed up by Morpico once again. You've got to get around Morpico, put you to the side. But oh, that is gorgeous. This was my first ever shining uh, Pokemon card in the Japanese set, Shiny Star V. And then boom, look at him in English. That is why I want more shiny full arts. Unlisted Leaf Energy, absolutely gorgeous. Forest Feast and Wood Hammer. What a name for an attack. That is crazy. Look at the shine. These full lots are unparalleled. They're unmatched. It's weird to say, but I think if I was to say, and you went to the shops right now, and there was a Shining Fates and a Battle Styles, just because you can get these Shining Pokemon cards and the Shining ones that aren't full lots, I would honestly might even recommend Shining Fates. And I don't even like... I always love saying it's the new set you should be collecting, but what do you reckon? Leave, that's a good comment to leave. If you were to pick one, Shining Fates or Battle Styles? Little Timmy. I know that's a stressful one. If you were to pick one, what would you pick? I think Shining Fates. Just the Shining Pokemon, the Charizard you could get and all that. It would be ridiculous. Oh, that's not too shabby. More Pico Shiny and a full art El Creamy V card to go and give us the full art god pack. Look at that. Not bad at all. The shine is crazy. Look at the ice cream. But look at that as well. Shiny more Pico. That's a really big fan favorite. Gorgeous. Torment and Spark. Look at that chubby Tic Tac. And then we got a big giant full art ice cream. How many of you guys have managed to get a god pack like this where you get a shiny and a full art? Gosh, I love that you can do that in an English booster. Like it 
I don't know, radiates confidence. It gives me some hope, you know? And especially that coming after a full art shiny. Oh, mama! I'm good to go, boys. Let's go. Four. From the back, we got... Water type. I gotta clean this up, don't I? Gee whiz. All right, Tropius. Glossopher. Eevee. Morpico. Yanma. Chutzel. Yanmega. And a Volcanion. That's all right. Gotta have those regular rares. If I am being honest, if I'm like, you know, having a heart-to-heart -heart with you right now, I really did think I would have pulled Charizard by now. I'm getting a little bit nervous. Like, I would have thought surely it's coming up around this mark. I didn't realize it was this hard to get. <gasps> oh, so close. So close. Every amazing rare. I thought it was a sweet tune for a minute, but it's going to be that Kyogre always popping up and a greed at V-Card. <laughs> Any blue card now, I'm like, oh, sweet coon. Nah, that's all right. Amazing rare Kyogre. I will take you any day of the week. Kyogre was, uh, you know, on Sapphire, one of my first ever games I fully submerged myself into. 100 or 200 hours of playtime and Green and V card. Bit of a god pack as well. Seem to be on the trend of god packs. That's amazing. Jeez, that re You know what? Even the recap for today is looking kind of good. Like, even that pile, I'm like, oh, I'm excited to show you guys what's in there. Okay, four from the back. Fire type, come on, that's got to be a sign. That's got to be a sign, guys. Here we go, Fire type. Team Yeltsao, Spinarak, Grookey, Snom, Trap Inch, Rowlet, Tropius, and a Research. Okay, we're going back to the drawing board right now. Okay, there's the code card. Four from the back, and it's a fighting type. All right, then I really got to tidy this desk up. Float cell. We might just build a big tower of boosters at the back. Yanma. Oh! It's a full art of a double V card. They're all sticking together this morning, but who cares? Because we pulled another shining full art card. This time it's double V card. And a double hitter. It's Crobat again. That's like our third uh, god pack in a row. Okay, Crobat V. That's good looking, but dude. Double full art V card? Heck yeah. Revenge Blast and Soft Wall as the ability. Wow, look at the sparkles, guys. Oh, I'm so excited to build a binder after this. Okay, I'm going to clean the setup real real fast, and then we'll build a big stack of bo uh, booster packs and keep going. I'm just on a mission. I feel like we're on a good roll. We're getting shinies. Charizard is next. Ladies and gentlemen, the stack you are looking at right there on screen is the only packs that we have left after opening 100... Shining Fates boost. One of the biggest, craziest tasks I reckon I've like ever done on the channel so far was trying to source all of these packs and then opening them over two videos, and that's it. And we are hunting for one Pokemon card and one Pokemon card only. Char Actually, no, that's a lie. There's two. Suicune and Charizard. Roly Coley! No way! Oh, I thought it was going to be a God Pack again. I will take a Roly Coley Shiny. Didn't even know this guy was in the set, but I guess he has to be, doesn't he? That's awesome! Ram is just the attack and that's it? What a card! Okay! Roly Coley Shiny, let's put him in the bag. That's probably the most simple Shiny card in the whole set. Don't you reckon? One attack, he's a Shiny, like... Congratulations. That's amazing, I'll get around that. Okay, that's a good way to start it. Everyone ready? Let's keep going, maybe we can double up. Let's go back to back, go for the double cheeseburger. And if it's God Pack, we can't, might even do the triple cheeseburger in one booster. Dwacky, Chutzel, Morpico, Snom, Horsey. Are you serious? Greed and Shiny, straight after Roly Coley. Boom! Rillaboom Hollow as well. I mean, it's our 10,000th Rillaboom Hollow, but whatever. That is so sick. He's almost a bit of pink, doesn't he? Because he's not brown anymore, but he's not like... I don't know, the green and shiny is not so different from the regular form. Probably the closest to it. What do you reckon? Tail smack is one of the attacks. I love it. Greed and shiny card. Dude, this is so cool. I'm really pumped up for the recap. All right. So, greed and right there. Come on, come on, come on. One of the two chase cards has got to be in this last stack. Surely we're not going to open this entire lot. And I'm going to have to cry myself to sleep tonight. It's got to be the goods. More Pico, Rowlet, Spinarak, got the Rotom, and then a Volcanion. It's nerve-wracking, you know, having it all just in one pile right here. Because every single booster, you're edging yourself, like, just closer and closer to the end. Like, there's the end of the episode. <laughs> that's where we are now. I hope you guys are getting good stuff from those code cards. 
please, as usual, you're contractedly, you know, you gotta let me know on Twitter, Instagram, tag me. If you get the Charizard, if you get something geek spicy in the comments. Oh, that's not bad! I mean, in the code cards, let me know in the comments. I will take a round of which looks like a lime green milkshake. And hey, what do you know? Unlisted Leaf, uh, Celebi right behind it. Wow, that is a gorgeous color scheme on the Rowler, isn't it? And that, my friends, is not only a shiny Pokemon card, but it's number one. It's the first one in Shiny Vault for Shining Fate, so that is a big hit. Sky Circus is the attack. I love it. I'm sorry if I look at these cards too long. I just, uh, I find it so fascinating, especially shiny Pokemon, because... It's always a surprise, you know? You get to not only observe the sparkle, you get to see the resale value, but you get to find out what the Pokemon looks like as a shiny Pokemon. Sometimes you forget or you don't really realize that, oh, that is a lot different or it's not different at all. Like Marchamp, for example, turns into the Hulk. There's a lot of cool shiny variants of Pokemon that I don't think get appreciated. Uh, Thunderous, for example, is another big one for me. I don't think he gets appreciated enough. So when I see cards like this, I always love to just dwell on it for a bit. And even after the video, I'll have them next to me while I'm editing the video. I'll have a look at it and be like, you know what? Definitely cool. All right, Boozil. This is good. This is good. There's something there. Inteleon! Whoa, that's actually really sick. He's got neon pink. Oh, that's awesome. Early stage as well, number 27. Gosh, we're checking it off today, guys. We're literally... All right, this is good. Inteleon. After the Rowlet, ladies and gentlemen, oh dear, four from the back. Please let it be soon so I can just do the rest of these packs in peace. Like as soon as we do it, I'm going to be so much less tense, less panicked, more Pico, Eevee, Grookey. That's going to be it. Three unlisted leaf Pokemon to end it off, which is pretty funny. Okay, put you to the side and we are down another booster psychic type how many packs did it take for you guys at home to get the get the charizard like i know you're all gonna say it's on my first booster or my first ever premium box i opened up ah oh, wheezing and a mana fee i so, like everyone seems to do it straight away or they do it relatively quickly i don't know anyone that really just put in the hard yards like uncle ando here okay next one let's go Every single booster is a new opportunity. It's a new day. The sun comes out from the clouds and says, Ando, it's Charizard time. Score Bunny! I will take a Score Bunny. He almost looks like he's dipped himself in Cheeto uh. dust or something. Very, very weird orange, but I love it. Score Bunny shiny in a Volcanion regular rare, but Score Bunny is so cute. And you know what? That's another starter. We've had on a row, uh, Rowlet, Inteleon, and Score Bunny. We're on starter uh, shiny season right now. And probably starters are one of the best holding value Pokemon cards you can get if you're going to get the shiny in Shining Fades. You want to get a starter. And that goes for anything, like base set or whatever. You get a starter, like they hold their value so well. That's why if you get a Bulbasaur, Charmander, um, Squirtle on the Logan Paul opening, everyone was really happy. Oh, it's not bad, Crewbat V card! <laughs> I saw some sparkle, I was like, no way, but then you see the reverse and you're like, oh guys, it's not in the reverse lot, so it's part of the regular set, but Crobat VMAX is nothing to sneeze at, guys. I think the shiny variant of Crobat is just gorgeous, and I love, who remembers the Japanese, um, what is it, Shiny Star V Japanese Christmas box? It came with a free shiny Crobat fuller, and it looked gorgeous, like, I loved it ever since then. It's been on my, uh, you know, it's been on my radar. Okay, so we got Water Type. Let's go. Cramorant. The Wacky. Oh gosh. Ball Guy. More Pico. Got a Chutzel. Q Fonts. No! <laughs> Another booster down. It's the Charizard time. Out of the Charizard artwork. Surely something mysterious and crazy is going to come out of this one. Put you to the side. We got Metal Type. Float Cell. Rusted Sword. Rotom. Got a Cacnea. Brazil. Then a more Pico. And there. Oh, it's another hit! It is a full art rainbow rare, our creamy VMAX. I've got a couple of these, but I will take another one for sure. Look at that sparkly birthday cake. Holy guacamole. And this card's actually pretty well, because if you can get it in the right light, like you probably can't do it here, um, but you've got to get in the right angle. It looks like it's just sparkle, like all rainbow. But if it's on the right angle, you can see there's stars just all imprinted into the card. 
So there's like layers to it. If you really put your cards in the light and look at them, there's so many hidden details like that one. Um, I remember last time I was getting an HD shot of that card. I was blown away. I'm like, oh wow. There's all these stars behind the card and there's like all sorts of patterns that people probably never appreciate. They probably go into a sleeve, into a binder. If you really do look at it, it's quite a good looking card. It almost looks like a birthday cake surprise. Shinx and Yan Mega. Look at this, look at this. Our pile is so desperately small. If we get the Charizard on the final pack... Oh, I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. My heart. <laughs> Alright, come on, come on, come on, come on. Unlisted Leaf, let's go. Elder Goss, Rusted Shield, Team Yeltao, Shootle, Q-Fun, Horsey, Cacnea, Morpico, and a Corvix Sire double up! Oh my goodness! We're gonna start doubling up on Shinings before I get what I need. That's alright though, it's a good looking one, and Boss's Order. Alright, double up on the Corvix Sire Shiny. That's okay. Let's just fuel for the recap at the back. What's pretty interesting, we haven't got another gold card though. Isn't that fascinating? Like, no more gold Eternatuses uh, doubled up or whatever. So they look like they are pretty rare. It isn't like the top four most expensive cards in the set, so it does make sense, but it's pretty interesting. Shoots all. Oh, coughing. And a Delphamized VMAX. This is our very first one. Wow, that's awesome. Look at the colors. The lines are more like, I don't know, there's more roller coasters there than a Texas theme park. This is crazy. Oh, guys, that's a good looking card, actually. Delphamized V card. Sheesh, I will take that for sure. I didn't even know that we didn't have it, but now I look at it, I'm like, I've never seen that card in my life. The colors. Jeez, I didn't even think Delphamize could have a, a good looking Pokemon card. Oh, but they do. Okay, I'm gonna put those cards just there. I'm trying to sort out the recap as I go. I'm doing two jobs at once here. Opening up the cards, sorting my recap out. And just so it doesn't get too messy and we don't double, I mean, uh, damage any of the cards. We're already doubling up, that's no problem. Dartrix, Luxio, Eevee, Chutel, more Pico, Yanma! Dude, it's gonna be. It's a Delphamize, are you serious? What the heck? No way! Oh, we doubled up on Delphamize. <laughs> get the V back, so then we go and get the V card. Alright, keep going. No big deal. Uncle Ando isn't stressed. Isn't stressed at all, okay. Pull this one here, we're literally gonna have to start praying to Arceus in a second. These ones seem like they're almost got some whiting on the edges, so hopefully, I don't know. Charizard's on this one, we've really got to have a look at the back of the card. Rusted Sword. The print job on some of these, I swear. Yanma, Ruki. Oh, it's so close! Every shiny full on, I'm feeling it in my jingles. Alright, that's okay. Lapras V Master, Professor's Research. It's a shiny as well. Oh, boys. you got to get around shiny Lapras V Max. Gorgeous glitter filled card. The Shining Full Art look, look perfecto, they really do look good. Looks like musical notes, you know, going down here. I'm never mad at any shiny I get. Like, honestly, that is a fantastic hit. Because it's not only shiny, not only a full art, but a card that, you know, a lot of people would trade for and they really want. Okay. The other side, please, let's get maybe two more. Maybe just two more. Okay, 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 here we go. We got Unlisted Leaf. If you're still watching this, leave a comment about the Red Power Ranger. It can be anything, just something about the Red Power Ranger, and I'ma give it a love heart. Another shiny school bunny! No! <laughs> We're doubling up a lot right now. Okay, so we got school bunny, shiny double up right here. Put you to the side. It's the weird Cheeto, you know, cheese dust colored school bunny as well. It is down to the last couple. Oh, have you, have you ever felt this tense in your life watching a video? Because I definitely haven't recording. I'm sweating. I literally feel it. Okay, Elder Goss, Eevee, Rowlet, Shinx, Trap Inch. Oh, every single time. You just get to the reverse and you're like, that's where it should be. It's got to be in that slot. There you guys go. I'm praying you guys get the good stuff in the Go cards. All right? You've got to do me proud. If I'm not doing you good in the video, could do me proud and post the video. The wacky, horsey, Eevee, Chutel, more Pico, Cramorant, oh, and Celebi. Toxtricity. I'm gonna clear all of this stuff off because I just need all the space I can get for these final couple of packs right now. Let's try and do this one first. All right, it could be. Literally, it could be this one right here. This could be it. We're getting the Charizard, boys. The wacky, Trap Inch, Rowlet, and then. Oh no, back to the hollows. We're getting 
back to the regular hollows and regular rare stage. We to the side. There's that magical code. I reckon I saw some sort of sparkle right here. Praying it's in the reverse slot, not the final slot. Zartrix, Rusted Shield, Cramorant, Snom, Golosopher. You ready, little Timmy? Oh, it was so close! That's okay, we're gonna get another full art shiny in DDV. Manaphy right there, but that's okay. Look at that. Absolutely so shiny. So awesome. But ladies and gentlemen, let's clear off all the Pokemon cards. And let's bring out the boxing gloves. We're going to town on the final lot of boosters. Oh, guys! This is it! Ladies and gentlemen, you are looking at the final Shining Fates boosters out of a 100 booster pack opening. You have seen all 100 be opened over two days. And this is the final lot of boosters that will come to the conclusion. And after this, I will be able to show you what a ratio of about a hundred packs of Shining Face looks like once it's been opened on the recap. I'm gonna point out everything that's been... that's been pulled. The Shinings, the Full Arts, the whatevers. But that's right. <laughs> it is down to this right here. And I've never been so nervous because like, the whole reason I did this was to just finally secure the Charizard VMAX. That's the card I really desperately wanted. I saw everyone getting it, and I was like, surely if I get a hundred packs of this, we can secure it. No. Nah. It is so much harder than I thought. I honestly give absolute props to anyone that's pulled at recent times, because it is a tough cookie to crack. Even if you've got Shiny Suicune, that is another one that seems like it's impossible to find. We're a hundred deep, haven't seen them. And if I don't get anything right now, guys, you have to let me know in the comments. Do I keep going? Is this series worth continuing? Does Uncle Ando keep trying to look for the Charizard? I want to know if it's even worth it. If you're bored of the series, you're like, I just watched you open 100 packs and get nothing. I understand. That's fair enough. But if you want to keep going, you got to let me know. It's all about sticking with the heart of the cards. And coming through with a shiny full art Toxtricity V card! Every single shiny full art, it's like, oh, it's fantastic, but it's not the one we're hunting for. That's okay. Dreadnought regular rare. Oh, boys. I love the shiny variant Toxtricity. But let's keep going. We are on a mission to find a certain flaming mouth man. And I'm not talking about someone recording their mixtape. Talking about that lizard. All right, Toxtricity V card. I mean, we're doing all right. Like, let's be honest. We got Indeedee full art, then Toxtricity full art. Toxtricity's a slapper as well. Like, fans love him. Okay. What do we got left? Like, four, five? And that's it. Let's go. Four from the back. I think I see some shiny. Or at least the edge of the card was uh, shiny. Team Yeltao, Qfant, Spinarak, Chutul. Do you think? <gasps> oh. Thought it was Suicune. That's okay. We've got a Sobble Shiny right there and a Boss's Order. So small. Sobble looks absolutely tiny. I don't know why. Doesn't he? I don't know, in comparison to the picture box and like the whole Pokemon card. That's okay. we got a Sobble Shiny right there. Looking gorgeous. When I see Sobble now, like, I don't know. When I just see Sobble in general, I always think of that video. Do you remember the Claymation guy on YouTube that makes Claymation Pokemon? That's what I think of when I see Sobble. Just because I think he made the shiny variant of him as a claymation form, and it looked amazing. And we got Sobble at the back as one of the stickers. Okay, final four packs after this, or final five. That's a tin. That is literally all down to like, oh! There we go, boys! Another amazing rare! It's Reshiram and an Indeedee. This time, the regular V card. That's all right, I will take the regular V Indeedee, and I'll definitely take an amazing rare, Miscot Reshiram. They knocked out the park. So many good cards. Like, we're getting... It's not boring, I guess that's the point. Like, we're getting so many good hits. It is the final five packs. And that does mean... That this right here is technically us just opening one individual tin. And we're putting all the pressure on that. We're putting all of our hope on one tin. That is ridiculous. Rusted Shield. Gonna rowl it. Nick it, Shinx, Cacnea! It's like, it, it's like taking a sword out! It's literally like, ah! Oh. 
just please don't be taking away from anything else. Just let there be one more. A double up of the shiny full art Toxtricity. It's a gorgeous Pokemon card. It's a god pack as well. I mean, like, guys, guys, that's great. But we've not only pulled it, but I just need it to be something different. All right. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Please. Four boosters remaining. Out of a hundred down. Swing it around. Seems to be some sort of sparkle. Looks very colorful though. I don't know if it's the right colors. Shink, Spinneract, Grookey, Snom. I mean, it's a Crobat. A very colorful card. Beautiful Crobat. As I said before, I love the VMAX. Any day of the week, this hit is the best thing ever. Like, we're getting amazing pulls, and these are fantastic. The binder I'm gonna put together, it's gonna look gnarly as. And really, that's why you do these bulk openings, so you have the coolest looking binder ever. I mean, if I was a kid and you told me I got to open 100 packs or something, dude, I would pass out. It's a dream come true. But let's go. Yanma, Horsey, Shinx, Spinarax. Guys, guys, do you understand? Do you understand the weight of what is happening right now? Two packs remaining. And that is it. It's ending on a Charizard. That's so fitting. All right. I reckon there was something. I reckon there was something. Did you see a little sparkle? If this is Charizard, there's a ding up the top, which is going to kill me, but that's all right. Oh, no, that's, that's okay. That's okay. That was the back card, so it definitely wasn't the reverse. It still can be Charizard. And still can get a PSA 10. Popping. Shinx. <sighs> oh my gosh. Alright, Cinder Scorch V full art. Shiny. It was in there. Another shiny was in there, guys. But it just wasn't the one we're looking for. And it's a Cinder Scorch. The, the Pokemon I was telling you, I double up on every time. Is it even worse than it's a fire type? Is it even worse than rubbing it in like that? For the recap for the binder, and guys, Arceus if you're up there. Let's go. Let's do it. Do you reckon? Surely not. There is no way we're going to double up in a shiny full light twice. Four. Okay. Team Yotau. Luxio, Chutal, Rowlet, Trapinch, Coughing. Ladies and gentlemen, we just opened 100 Shining Fates booster packs and didn't find the Charizard. Ladies and gentlemen, if you've ever stayed tuned to the end of a video and you want to see a recap, it is this one right here. We are about to review every single card, which is a V card and above, that we managed to pull out of a hundred Shining Fates boosters. And I kid you not, that thing is thicker than the fourth Harry Potter book. It is ridiculous. But before we get into that, I really want to know one thing. Is this my last ever Shining Fates opening? Like, I dead set think... You guys might be so sick of me opening up this set, so sick of me looking for the Charizard, that you're like, Ando, you're calling it quits. Today's video might just be your last ever Shining Fates opening. You have to let me know down below, are you sick of me looking for the Charizard? Um, do you want me to stop right now? I want to know. If you guys are keen for me to keep going and buy a couple more boosters, just let me know in the comment section below. Demolish the like button. I'm going to say if we get maybe over 10,000 likes on today's video... We will do one more episode. We will go out to the store and keep buying Shining Fates to look for the one card in particular. But I think, uh, you know, Shining Sweet couldn't be nice to find as well. But for now, let's have a recap of what we got out of 100 boosters. As sad as I am, I think we still did really, really well. I also think it was fascinating. Like, look at this. The amount of doubles and random cards you managed to get out of 100 SF booster packs is crazy. So Cramorant, Delphamize right here, Indeedy V card, Cinder Ace V Max. That's a Pokemon card I bet you forgot about or you didn't even think was in the set. A couple of Crobat V Maxes right here, we managed to get three of them. And then the Amazing Rares. I mean, come on. This right here, it's like one per box in Japanese, but in English. 
I mean, it's hard to track down. You can't actually find it guaranteed in too many places. So a double up of the Kyogre, probably the most common amazing rare, and then the Shining Pokemon. We actually did incredible in getting a really good cross section. I mean, Shiny Graplock is an absolute slapperuski. Then Milsery, um, it's got those weird scratch marks on it. Sisley T, Rowler as well. Inteleon, looks like a Mexican wrestler. Uh, then we got Roly Coley, Morpico, Colossal, and I kid you not, I can't even make this stuff up. I got an email last night saying that I didn't spend enough time looking at Shiny Colossal and appreciating how good of a Pokemon he is. I think I made a joke, like once, that Colossal's not someone's favorite Pokemon, but I don't know what I did Yes, I legitimately got an email complaining I didn't appreciate a Shiny Colossal that much. So I'm just, everyone getting their screenshots in. Little Timmy, you're taking your, your screenshot on your iPhone. I don't know why. Apparently a big fan following and someone felt the need to write a long email about how I didn't appreciate that Pokemon enough. Then we got Rowlet, Greedon, Sender Scorch we doubled up on, but that's okay. And a uh, Cheeto Dust Score Bunny. Then two, I think, Corvix size? Yeah. So like, that's not bad. That's, that's pretty good to only get a couple of doubles for a hundred packs of a set that isn't meant to come out as a booster box. Then, this is ridiculous. It breaks my camera when it tries to look at this because the amount of glitter inside of it. Our creamy VMAX, then we got the gym trainer, our creamy V card, and then get this. This is the most expensive card that we pulled the whole opening. And I know what you're thinking, surely it's this one right here. Oh, Timmy, no, no, no. That's a $24 card, a $26 card raw. This is a $55 card. I kid you not. What the f- Skylight is just such- I, And I knew it. I knew when this set came out and this wasn't like the second most expensive card. I knew eventually it would be because Skylight is so popular. Like you don't understand. So, we got no one. But we got two. I don't know how we did it. But if we're gonna get a double up, let it be that one or the Charizard. Or the Shiny Suicune. Okay, there's a couple we need. But that's besides the point. So we got Skylight double up right there. Should I get it graded? Let me know down below. Send a Scorch. Of course we get two of those. This is pretty funny. I think we got, th yeah, we got three Toxtricity Shinies, which is just crazy town. But then you know how to join the party that's like, you know what? I want to double up a few times as well. Lapras. Two regular Lapras, one VMAX. Then we got Dubwall, Indeedy V, Rillaboom, King Kong, and then Ditto, your favorite chewing gum. But to end it off, we got Eternus Full Art. Golden V Max, which is a bit rarer than the V card. <sighs> what do you guys think? Do we end it here? Is this really Ando's last ever Shining Fates opening? I would love to hear what you think down below. Let me know. But most of all, though, guys, maybe for the last time, keep on gaming. I'll leave it up to you guys. <laughs>